To Mungo. There we go for egg sushi. There we go. Okay. Then we'll go to the ice cream place and then up to the mock bowl after that. <laughs> I wonder if this was a part of the original game or or if RGG actually added this afterwards. It feels like it could have been crowbarred in from another game, but at the same time, it also wouldn't surprise me if this was actually the origin of this particular game mode. It's also just dawned on me. This is the first Yakuza game we've played so far where it isn't Christmas. Think about it. Yakuza 0, it was at Christmas. Yakuza Kiwami, it was Christmas. Kiwami 2, it was Christmas. This one is set pretty much on the heels of Kiwami 2, which means that it is after Christmas and is probably the middle of January, maybe February. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, I need to go to Mac Bolt. No, I need to go to the ice cream parlor, which is I'm, what I'm literally stood next to. Oh, go on, Bennett. Do I have to play the split game in this now? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of happy that we've got the bowling back, but... There we go, D-Rank. Marvellous. All oh, right, we still need to do the bowling. Um... Aruka's chocolate, fantastic. Right, so now we need to go up to the bowling alley, but we might try and save before that point, just because we've already done quite a lot. Yes, on the point of 100 complete, 100 percenting. Yes, we are going to 100 percent Tears of the Kingdom. No, I don't think my sanity will survive. And no, we probably won't be playing it on release. Or if we do, well, actually, given the speed I get through games, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether whether I'll play it on release or I'll wait until some guides have been published. If I'm perfectly honest about it. Not for the story or anything, but literally for whatever nonsense collectibles Nintendo decide to cram into that game. I'm hoping they don't. I'm hoping they learned the lesson after Breath of the Wild, but you never know. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay, we'll pretend that last year this place was just closed for... Uh, 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 refreshing? I don't know. Don't fight. Never mind. Oh, right. Oh, it's going to be one where I have to talk to her from outside, don't I? Uh. <clears throat> yeah, okay. The, this is the early days of game logic. The side quest will not unlock unless first thing has been completed. There we go. We're outside. We're inside. There you go, play bowling game. Sure. How much money have I spent on this girl now? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> can't select my bowling ball. This will be interesting. Hmm. I 
strike trick mm. from Yakuza Zero doesn't work. There we go. down the lane. Bomp. Eh, spur. It'll do. Yes. Yeah, daughter. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, no, I should I should have kept that on a full pile, but whatever. Been on it. Mm. 
There we go. Oh. That's not it. Hoping she at least gets one strike. Strike. Yeah, Manaruka. Well, you can't get a strike now, but you know. <laughs> Let's see how that does it. Oh, heavens no. I'm guessing I don't get to choose the way to my ball so it's variable, or maybe it's just this trick doesn't work. Or maybe I'm just growing up from my old Yakuza Zero yeah. trick. I'm getting the angle wrong. Ah, uh, well. What if I try throwing it at that angle? Should be all right for a straight shot. Oh, so close! It's so bad. Oh, yeah. 
Ruka seems happy, but that dude at the counter looks miserable. Cool! Yay, goers. Anything of interest in here? Can I go into the gents? No, I can't. Also, the sound of Kiryu's footsteps, really? And I thought I had a heavy walk. Okay, let's leave. So, that is all of the E rank stuff done then. Um, the next ones require us to go to Theatre Square, the Smile Burger, Papo Namakamichi. Bantam's out of bounds. Those Namakamichi. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of curious about what Boxer Sellos is, and then I think that's the last of the Haruka stuff we've done for the time being, because the map has restricted us. The quest is say, all right. Ah, it's one of these, isn't it? Try the shooting game. We can try the shooting game, Haruka, sure. Sure. What one's that? Boxelios! An arcade shooter. Boxelios puts you in the seat of an invinci uh, invincible fighter and challenges you to destroy as many enemies as possible before time runs out. Move your ship with the left stick, fire your laser cannons with X. Shoot and destroy the entire. Uh, destroy either the glowing core or the majority of enemy ships to take them down. Time stands still for two seconds after an enemy appears. Use that time to aim for the enemy's core for maximum efficiency. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be painful. Shoot. Move. Cool. Is this a Yakuza or anything, or is this an actual Sega game and I've just never heard of it? Oh, wow. What the? Whoa! Okay then. I must admit this is cool. This looks really cool actually. Oh, just kind of looking a bit better than the, the actual game itself. Um, <laughs> Shiny, I got it. of Evangelion in some really, really weird way. Okay, this is a lot more fun than the arcades in Kiwami too.
I've also noticed what my time limit is. And we're pretty close. Level 28. Oh. What did I need? To... Oh, 25. Never mind. We've done it. Hey. Wait, did we? Haruka, did we? That was a really fun game, I must admit. Yeah. What? Try it once. What? Awesome. Right, we've done that. What's the other game, then? Or is there only that? Wait, is that literally the only game that's available? Oh, right, there's the... Okay, fine. Look, I said I wasn't going to do it very... But I... Let's... I have to get all of these birds, don't I? This might be an offline thing, I do. I don't think I'll subject chat to all of for this constant bleed. Thanks, game. I've got a burr. Look! It's a cute teddy burr. Bump. I've got Grey, the teddy burr. Let's go for beige, the teddy burr. Oh, that looks like a good grip. Oh, actually, is a good grip. There we go. I'll stop while I'm ahead. Um. All right. Mini games. We've not completed any mini games. Bowling. Ten frames. Oh. Then it right. So in a ten frame, I need to score at least two hundred points. That's not too bad, I suppose. Um, I need to catch everything in the UFO catcher. The question is, do the burrs count as the same thing, or do I have to catch different things? Kitty cat, short hair, kitty cat, Kelly Oak, Burry Burr, uh, yeah, Burry Burr Brown, Burry Burr Grey. Um, Pure Chan... Right, I'm gonna have to look. Oh, oh mighty oracle. Right, who's a re u f o? Right, okay. Nice. Oh. Okay, right, so there's a really rare one that I'm gonna have to keep repeat keep working my way through. And I do have to get the big birds. Yay, right. <laughs> I love the first line. You know that thing in our cave that you hate because it's a complete scam? Yeah, that's UFO catcher. Also known as the crane game. Yeah, unfortunately your catchers in this game are a shade wait. Fortunately, a shade less horrible than those in real life. For example, those you can uh, these you can actually win. Insert your 500 yen coin, hold down X to move the crane, then release and da, 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 straightforward. There is some slight strategy involved, as certain prizes are easier and harder to grab based on their size and shape. The general rule is just to get the claw over it, uh, and if you uh, and if you get it, great. If you don't, look at how it's slipped out to avoid it on the next attempt. Grab the thin part of it to attempt to hook a foot or something like that. Or grab around the waist part, solid, pull, da-da-da. List of descriptions, blah da blah da blah Okay, right, fine, so. 
second. Uh, okay. So basically, we're going to be revisiting the crane game. A lot. Fun times ahead, my friends. Right. Anyway. That was amazing. Apparently. Uh, oh, right, okay. The camera's just gone really weird. Ooh, save is literally in front of me. This is good because I... Better, uh, yeah. I've already done enough things for Haruka. Also, I noticed that the entire world is empty and then all of a sudden everyone just spawns in. I've also just realised... Are there missable trophies in this game? It says there are zero missable trophies, but then later on it says there are missable subquests. Oh crap, really? Which are needed for the complete all the sub stories trophies, so technically that does make one missable trophy, so not either way. Um Oh great. Missable sub stories. I okay, what one oh. None of them are missable, can be done premium adventure, you just might need to change the time of day. Most of the removed substories from PS3 release have been added back in the remaster. I think uh, the only removed ones are a quiz one and three substories to focus on. Okay. Um, I really hate missable stuff, I know, I know the feeling. Okay, guy read the three and one says five. Don't know. Okay, uh, I believe they're both correct. There were originally five missable sub stories, but two of them were cut for the translated version leaving free so it depends on which version uh, in both not missions only in the original Japanese version a trip before marriage couple who wouldn't learn okay so I've, those are cut from this game so I don't need to worry about that um, love letter in a bottle chapter 4 the girl from back home chapter 6 dotting the eye chapter 6 I think the what's that one so yeah chapter four chapter four chapter six chapter six chapter 12 um there's one that I can't complete after I hit chapter 10. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, I should probably save the game. Well, we're only on chapter one already at the moment, so that's fine. Um, not so much enjoyment in Yakuza series. In Yakuza 3, there are two levels to complete the sub-stories. If you complete with the best possible outcome, you'll get a star next to the story in the menu. If you complete it but did not get the best possible outcome, you'll get a check mark. For the basic sense of completion, they're both the same. You're not required to get the best outcome to get 100% completion in the game. All you miss out on is a possible better reward from the sub-story. Also, the shame. So much shame. Oh no, don't tell me that. Well, we're going to be repeating sub-stories. Fantastic. That's really annoying. Okay, I can sort of see what block it meant now. <laughs> I can see what chat meant by 
the joys of this is on. Right, okay. So no missable trophies, but there are missable sub-stories, so yeah, I'm going to have to worry about that. We read that. That. Okay. So yeah, chapter four, chapter four, chapter six, chapter six, chapter twelve. And there's one before chapter 10 that we can potentially miss. And oh, Gordon Bennett, this game is going to be such a headache to complete now, isn't it? Right. Yeah, I think I was spoiled with Kiwami 2. <laughs> I think I was very spoiled by Kiwami 2. Oh, well, right. Save the game. There we go. And there we go. And then with that we will uh, and then with that we will um Is there actually a way to return to the menu? <laughs> oh dear. Um Wow Okay then. So. Well, we've got an extra person. Emoto. Marvelous. Uh, Yuya trusts Kazuki. Bip, 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 bip. Yep. Oh well. And we will continue that next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. There we go. We can. Um, Look at Kiryu standing in front of a telephone booth because apparently that's it. Looking ahead and seeing the whole 2023. <laughs> it won't take us that long. It will probably take us half that time, but still, my sanity is probably going to take a hit. Oh, this game. This game is going to be such a joy to complete. Well, finish. Not complete. 100%. 100% is the more accurate term there because we're not doing the full platinum. That would require all the climax battles and all the legendary stuff, and we're not doing that. It's going to be a pain in the neck enough for us to get all of the completion stuff. Will I go for the gold stars on every sub-story? That is a question that lies somewhere. Potentially, it means I'm going to have to save a lot, and... If I screw up a sub-story, go back and redo the sub-story. If, if, I, it depends on how far I push it, and if needs be, I will go back and give up. <laughs> Basically, we'll just go for completing every sub-story rather than best possible outcome, because at that point, I think that gets into secondary completion list to, to, uh, territory, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We cross it. Let's face it, we're only on chapter one, and we're only on... Um, two and a half hours into this game and even then we're only on chapter one yay should i be playing music here i suppose i probably should for a change not that i actually oh closing melody there we go nothing's playing in the background so um... There we go, that kind of works, it's a bit quiet, I'll see how it looks in the video anyway in the VOD Anyway, with that said, we have begun our journey into our next Yakuza game, my friend. We are now in Yakuza 3. Uh, technically, it's the fourth Yakuza game that we've played, but it's Yakuza 3. It's definitely given me some whiplash. It's definitely something different, but we will get through this as we will. We're only on chapter one, and already the story has very much thrown me through several loops, but at the same time, I think it's going to be a good ride, even if I am still quite upset about Sayama. I don't think I'll ever be over that, to be honest. But anyway, 
If you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio, it's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, and I, 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 blame you, I won't blame you if you didn't, uh, because it, most of it was me just arguing with a crane game. So, there's that. Anyway, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really appreciate if you hit that follow button, but the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, I stream here on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock UK time, and every Saturday at 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock UK time. Except this Thursday, where there won't be a stream, because I'm going to a leaving too. <laughs> so, that's unfortunate, but it does mean we've got at least four, three and a half hours of Yakuza goodness on Saturday afternoon to try and make up for it, I suppose. So yes, no stream on Thursday, unfortunately I'll put a notification up on the Discord. By the way, we have a Discord now! Discord command and chat, the, that'll take you there and yeah, fun times and lots of waifus, I suppose. And I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you. Be you a chatter, be you a lurk, be you watching live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archives. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey this evening. Thank you for joining me as we ventured into the world of this honestly interesting game for the moment. And most of all, thank you for spending a little bit of your life here with me on the channel. It means the world. It always will do. And it always does. Now, let's see if we've got enough to pay the good vibes forwards. Probably not, but you know what? He stopped by before, and I did say I would. So let's throw a raid over to the mighty Last Minute Continue, who is currently playing Payday 2. But Payday 2, even. Why can't I get my words right this evening? So, with that said and done to each and every one of you, may you all have a beautiful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are. And as always, until our paths next cross again, the vortex awaits, and I'll see you all next time.